An Israeli strike leveled this building near one of Beirut's busiest traffic junctions on Friday. It happened in the Hezbollah-controlled southern suburbs in the Lebanese capital. Israel has stepped up its bombardment of the area this week. But as that unfolds, there are signs of movement in U.S.-led diplomacy aiming to end the conflict. On Thursday, the U.S. ambassador to Lebanon handed over a draft ceasefire proposal to Lebanon's parliament speaker, Nabi Buri, two sources told Reuters. Hezbollah has endorsed Buri to negotiate. The group is armed and financed by Iran, and Buri met with senior Iranian official Ali Larajani on Friday. We are not looking to sabotage anything. We are after a solution to the problems, Larajani said, a sign that Tehran is keen to see the conflict end. On the Israeli side, the Washington Post reported that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is rushing to advance a ceasefire, the aim being to deliver an early foreign policy win to President-elect Donald Trump. He's expected to be strongly pro-Israel. Israel launched its offensive against Hezbollah after almost a year of cross-border hostilities ignited by the Gaza War. Hezbollah has kept up rocket attacks into Israel, and its fighters have been battling Israeli troops. Israel's campaign has forced more than one million people to flee their homes in Lebanon and has ignited a humanitarian crisis.